In the early 1900s, people were looking to get away from city life and wanted to have somewhere more quiet and relaxed to escape to. Oakville may not be the first place you think of when I say relaxing quiet town, but at that time, Oakville was seen as a premium destination for rest and relaxation. James Ryrie, a successful Toronto-based jeweler, bought a parcel of waterfront property in Oakville on the shores of Lake Ontario in 1907, with plans of building a country escape away from the city. He hired the top architectural firm at the time, Burke and Horwood, to design and construct his dream country estate. Construction on the main home started in 1908. He named it Edgemere, translating to Edge of the Sea. The area became quite desirable, and within a couple years, several wealthy Canadian families had built summer estates on the waterfront, causing the area to be nicknamed Canada's Newport. The landscape was a huge focus of the design, with Canadian landscape architect Charles Wolverton being commissioned to complete the landscape plans, including several gardens, ponds, and parks. Edgemere's Gardens were featured in the January 1927 issue of Canadian Home and Gardens magazine. The property changed hands several times, being owned by some of the wealthiest families in Canada, including an Eaton son, a mining executive, and a stockbroker, eventually being purchased by Peter Gilgan, president of Mattamy Homes Developments. By 1992, the house had outlived its aesthetic and the rustic country home was demolished. The outbuildings, which include a greenhouse, a Japanese tea garden, and a gardener's cottage, among other things, were retained. In 1994, the property was transformed when a 32,000 square foot mansion was built as the private home of Peter Gilgan, featuring 9 bedrooms and 17 bathrooms, a private movie theater, a spa, and a large games room. The landscaping was no longer a priority, and most of it was altered or removed over the years. Some of the trees on the lot are over 100 years old. In 2006, all 14 acres of the Edgemere estate were listed for $45 million, making it the most expensive residential property to ever hit the Canadian real estate market at the time. Listed as a legacy home, it was the largest original undivided estate in Oakville with approximately a thousand feet of shoreline. The listing sat on the market for over a year, eventually being purchased for an alleged $35.5 million by Mark Hewitt and Niche Developments. Niche Developments used the site as offices and a sales center for their other projects while creating their development plans. In 2009, the city of Oakville designated the estate to be of cultural or heritage value. The only elements protected in the document are the stone walls along the main road and the gate along with the name plaque. The outbuildings are noted as significant elements but are not included under the designation. An each development requested a demolition permit for the home and several outbuildings, including the boat shed, proposing site plans for 10 three-story luxury condo buildings, which was approved in November of 2010, much to the dismay of neighbors who worried it would set precedent for increased density along the waterfront. An auction was held on November 3rd of 2012 by Abbey Demolition in order to sell off the majority of the home. Nothing was held back. Sinks were removed, windows taken out of their frames, and railings dismantled. What didn't sell was left for the wrecking ball. Construction on the first condo towers began at the end of 2012. Demolition of the Edgemere home was delayed, giving people a window of opportunity to explore the remains. The home was eventually demolished in the fall of 2013. The project finished construction in 2018, with most units being pre-sold. Niche developments made good on their promise to restore some of the outbuildings. The Japanese tea garden and greenhouse are now condo amenities. The cheapest unit was 2,770 square feet for $2.6 million. The most expensive at 5,860 square feet for just over $6 million. The area is now nicknamed Canada's Gulf Coast, boasting some of the country's most expensive real estate. 